Hello guys, Edu here, and today I'm going to bring you a quick video just to discuss a few things. Um, and the one important thing for me is which characters are actually really important or worth to level 290, right? In in my opinion, uh, will we'll I have two parties uh, of characters that are worth it? And those are basically almost for the same reasons. Basically, you will need uh, a to take into consideration the base stats like HP, defense, attack, and yeah, that kind of uh, priorities are worth since those actually level up a lot during the 80 to 90. For the first one, we will cover Albedo. Let's see why. Basically, uh, the main reason is the base defense. That means that um, his talents, basically mainly his E, will scale will defense percentage so of course you will want to build him around uh with a defense percentage sans um a geo damage goblet uh, with some points in defense and of course um some um crit rate so he's able to at least have some chance of crit uh right that's pretty pretty obvious uh right now this is not a really great piece i will wish some more crit damage as well as the defense percentage there but overall that's the basic idea behind him uh so the as you can see the, it has more than 2400 and that's why uh at level 90 this stat it's just like a from five to seven points per level at least and if you have a defense percentage stance it will actually increase the value uh, that's why his weapon, uh, which came into from that event, also scales with defense, right? For him, this is a stat is really important, and it's an stat that doesn't rely only from artifacts, but also from the uh, base defense that it's scaling until level 90. The next one would be Zhang Li. Um, this character is also worth having at level 90 because the HP it's the stat that scales the most from 80 to 90, and also if you go to the talents that's the in the base creed attributes you will be shielded by 2300 uh, but also if you add that to the 20 percent of hp right now it's level eight it still has more potential maybe almost 25 percent which means that if you have 30 um thousand hp or so you will be having a additional 7500 so it's almost 10k uh shield base right um on every uh support of the party right and uh, that means that also in his talents there is this talent called um dominance of earth which also gives the ultimate or well the q a damage increase based on 33 percent of the max, max hp that's why one of the really cool weapons is the three star weapon black tassel or the best in a slot right now would be the staff of homa not only because it has a high crit damage value but also because it gives you a passive 20 percent and at rank five it's double right so i mean the whales that have done this uh have like this high amount of hp which is ridiculous and also the damage uh but yeah that's why um the hp almost like rises more than a thousand from 80 to 90 and yeah basically that's one thing or the main thing why he's worth level up the next one would be noel uh basically almost the same reason as albedo right now i don't have her at level 90 but i plan to uh but it's also the same thing basically um her damage and also her shielding comes from a defense percentage scale and also their constellations um for these four star characters are really really good uh one example is the the c6 which also increases your uh 50 percent of defense as attack and has many kind of a defense percentage um scaling uh as, as bonus damage so that's why i mean if you build her with a new set opulent dreams plus level 90 uh you will be having a higher output of damage and there is also free-to-play weapons, right? Like the White Blind, which also has as a Claymore a defense percentage passive, which is really awesome for Noel. 
the next one more in the dps pure damage side with hutao basically it's almost the same thing as um jungly which uh also comes from hp percentage scaling uh in her e uh which is like really really good uh since uh she does hp percentage diminish when she activates it and the lower the hp that she has the higher the damage uh so that's why she needs a large uh, hp pool so she can handle maybe sometimes get hit once or twice but of course like aside from having also a staff of homa if you pair her with um a young league which could be having a really really strict shield uh she doesn't have to worry about having her healed or yeah, losing damage and she can still just uh, charge attack everything and ha have a high output of damage, right? But yeah, that's basically uh, the whole reason. Being fire, level 90, high HP, uh, lots of damage. Next one, Shenha. In this case, um, it's not HP. It's one of the few that actually scales from attack percentage. That's why uh, right now the best in the slots are too glad to Shimanawa. Uh, that's basically because our, those are the only sets that have 18% uh, attack per, uh, as bonus in the set 2. Actually, there will be two more sets uh, that has these set 2 piece that will come in 2.6. So, but for now, um, this is the best in the slot. And of course, even you will have a crown, cup, and sands with attack percentage and this will be not multiplicative but the additional damage to any skill and burst uh, for all the members of your party mainly basically for cryo but also helps uh, a little bit to the skills of a non-cryo users that's why for example i maxed uh, with crown the e and these are the percentage so yeah uh 82 percent of her attack as a purely damage bonus for everyone is really good and that's why i mean the only way aside from artifacts that she can gain attack percentage it's with just level up so that's why she's actually really really worth it to reach level 90 um also if you i don't know pair her with a pyro resonance she can surpass easily the 4000 um attack so also her weapon has a low percentage but has a really really high base attack as you can see so that's why uh, she's a really really good candidate for level 90. next would be um the best pyro unit uh until now i'll i'll say it's bennett uh he's basically a support that sometimes can do some damage uh he's basically both benefiting wow. from hp and also the attack but not attack percentage. It's just that he actually, what you would want to use Bennett for, it's healing and buffing uh, attack to all the party, right? But not just because he's Pyro, but because uh, his talents from the ultimate um, actually gives or transfers the base attack of his um, base at stats, which would be in this case, uh, not the artifacts, but the white um, value right here. It's actually it will ignore the plus five hundred, but these seven hundred and thirty three will be transferred as pure attack to the whole party once you they step in his ultimate, and also they will be healed. But the heal part, it's what's tricky. The heal part actually scales uh, per the his maximum HP. Uh, which is 12% uh, and actually uh, scales a little bit more um, if I actually crown his ultimate, right? On up to 12.75% plus this 1500 uh, bonus. So, I mean, right now my Bennett heals around 5,000, 5,300 5, or so. So, I mean, it can still improve a little bit, uh, but that's why um you have to have a specific pill for him in this case um i mean the flower cannot do much right you just want to stack uh, as much hp as you can there that's why it has stats like this 
the royal plume won't be added to the attack buffing side but i mean you can't do anything aside from maybe searching something with hp percentage or hp flat in the substats for the sands you want it to be hp percentage for the healing and because even if you put attack percentage or anything else it won't help for the buffing part it would just be for i don't know his own damage which is not really important in this case uh, for the cup, also I run him with an HP cup. Um, that's just because um, more healing, uh, the the better, in my in my opinion. And the crown, in this case, would be personal choice. Uh, myself, I do a crit damage percentage, and that's just because um, I have him with the Jade Cutter, so that has a really really high crit rate value so with this i'm able to heal buff and do actually a, a pretty good amount of damage but i mean basically if i could have instead of the 60 percent um of attack it would be hp it would be even better because i will be healing more but that's why i mean the only things that actually help him level up his base attack it's level and his weapon so it's really, really hard uh, not having a artifact scaling based on that. And aside from that, yeah, also the max HP, which is really high right now. And it, that also gives him a high potential for as a support healing, mainly because of the, for example, more recently, the walls uh, that has appeared um, since Inazuma popped. Basically, you will want to cover from corrosion. So yeah, those walls are kind of annoying but yeah he helps basically with that and also this weapon ha gives him another 20 percent hp which more more hp more healing another one would be barbara i don't use her right now because i have uh other healers but basically it's the same principle she's a nitro hp based uh character um her best in slot right now but we'll say it's that three star weapon thrilling tails which uh any anyone could have a rank five of that weapon and yeah, more, more HP, more healing, and with the new clam set, um, it's the best, re really, uh, for her. And one other character that should be worth it, uh, level up to 90, and I will do it uh, as soon as I can, is Chi Chi. Yeah, I mean, I know that this might seem weird, but with a new set, with a clam set, it's really, really good. You, you just have to get some attack percentage and some healing bonus um, for the crown and you will be doing lots of healing which means more damage per the clam set right this whole <laughs> tldr it's you heal me more i will do more damage as i proc aside from your healing for the older party so that's why um in this case Barbara uses Clam Set, he's scaling with HP, and Chichi the same thing, but with attack percentage. But basically, since we are dealing with max percentage of something, either being defense, HP, or attack, or I don't know, maybe some, maybe if in the future um, there is the set that helps us do something with Elemental Master or whatever that will change a little bit and we will have to add more characters to this is it worth it to level 90 but for now i think that this should cover it these are the eight characters that for me uh some more are some of these are like five, five stars some are four stars but overall i think that every other unit that i've used it's either good enough at 80 and just a, ni a nice to have at 90 but at least these, these eight units for me are really really worth it and the, using the mora and the experience books for that but yeah i mean i think that took longer than i expected but i hope that this information is useful for you um of course not everyone will have five star characters but noel for sure everyone has it everyone has access for one copy at least with the beginner wish so yeah uh aside from that let me know in the comments if you have another unit that you might say hey this is already worth it to level 90 in my opinion uh, and we can have a good debate 
um, but yeah I hope you like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new a like comment uh, would be much appreciated for the algorithm and exposure and I'll see you in the next one bye bye